Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday afternoon. Very glad that you're here with me this afternoon. So our class today is Video Creating Basics. If you haven't been in one of my classes before, my name is, let me introduce myself, my name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes for the Columbia County Library in Evans, the Harlem Library, the Uchi Creek, now the Grovetown Library. They built a new library. It's in Grovetown now. And very glad that you're here with me today. So uh, before we start class, I'll go ahead and say uh, definitely feel free to kind of post any comments in the chat or anything. Do realize we've kind of switched over to being on YouTube. So you do need to have uh, be logged into YouTube to be able to post here, post in the chat, or of course like or subscribe as well. So as I'll always start off our class, how can I help? What questions do you have? Have you started like a video editing project and then did not get very far with it because you weren't sure what to do? Well, this is the right class to ask questions. So this is going to be a pretty fun class today. But let's talk about some of our other classes we have and of course classes we have for tomorrow too. So on Tuesday we did internet safety and security. Uh, that video is still up and available. And we did that class again this morning uh, for 11 o'clock viewers. And that's available. And of course, this is us here. Tomorrow we're going to have a morning and afternoon class. One of our most popular programs is to do the gadget help with me, Alex. <laughs> and of course, we're being safe at home right now, of course. So the library doesn't have any in-house programs. So we're doing everything virtually. So definitely come join me. We're doing two sessions, 11 o'clock and 2.30 uh, tomorrow. And tomorrow I'll also list our new classes for next month. So get excited and ready for that. A little bit of a side note, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Today our hours actually have changed. So go back and check gchrl.org or our Facebook page for more details. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. So definitely thank the librarians for doing that. And don't forget to like us on Facebook so you'll be up to date with what was going on. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our videos too. If you are looking for our YouTube channel, you can actually go to YouTube and search for GCHRL videos and our channel will pull right up. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be a pretty fun class. So before we start class, I know there's a little bit of delay in the chat. So definitely I'm going to be able to get to any kind of questions that you have, of course. Uh, definitely uh, get to any questions you have. But it may take me a minute to be able to, uh, of course, read them and everything. Uh, if you post them in the chat, it may just take a little bit. All right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about using the video creator, uh, pro, the video editor program that comes free with Windows 10. It's called Windows Photos App, and now they've added a video editor part to it. So that's kind of our focus for our class this afternoon. Uh, this is kind of an extra class uh, based on we were getting a lot of good feedback to our camera series, and I think we're going to be doing that again uh, next month which is September Wow it's September is coming up I know I can always tell that it's near September when uh, the Halloween stuff starts coming out in August <laughs> which is kind of odd to get ready get ready for something that happens at the end of October okay so we're gonna be covering creating a slideshow we're gonna do three projects is kind of our focused here and once we complete our three projects we'll kind of cover everything with editing uh, title cards adding 3d models special effects and adding music to our project as well so our first project is basically going to be a golf project we got some pictures of um, some golfers taking a golfing class we're going to be putting that together 
and I, there's another project we're going to work on but then we're going to work on um, a big one which is editing some videos from birding for birding class okay so and I also will uh, point you in the right direction I do want to say that if you that we're doing the video editing um, but it still is kind of a basic program uh, some folks were really loved when Windows XP many years ago came with the video editor and then the other versions of uh, Windows really didn't have it and Windows 8 didn't have it and now I'm very glad to say Microsoft has decided to bring it back uh, in the uh, the F Windows Photos app I wish it had a little bit of a better name now if you're don't see the same version as you see when I pull mine up just realize your Windows may need to be updated to the latest version of Windows so you may need to go to Windows update to make sure it's updated um, one thing I like to recommend when you're doing hands-on stuff as well and uh, may basically just kind of have me in a smaller device so you can hear me and everything and we're just going to kind of play through this one and see if I can answer any questions or anything okay so let's go ahead basically what we need to do is we need to click the start button on our computer and then we're going to scroll down and basically look right now it's called the video editor okay you could click on the search uh, the magnifying glass for search and type in video editor and that would be fine too and basically our video editor will pop up okay now uh, let me see one thing here okay so basically we have um, some projects here and it's going to be similar to the ones that we uh, have there as well so I'll tell you a little bit about some of the projects I've been doing I've actually been capturing um, video from some older um, let's see if I can set up a little bit better there there we go I've actually been taking some projects from some uh, I don't know why that's Hmm. have to figure that out later there we go that a little better okay so basically been taking some pro oh it's coming back again I guess that's the camera doing that anyway so basically we're working on some projects uh, recording some videos from other sources and the interesting part about this is we actually did this class for the first time a uh, the beginning of this month and the interesting part is that I've actually learned some stuff from since then so I'll tell you a little bit about my experience so um, when we actually and I don't want to forget this part so I'm mentioning it now so basically I've been recording I've had a device uh, let's see if it's near I've got it set over there anyway it's an HDMI recorder and basically what it will do is it actually records like from old VHS tape and I've been recording a bunch of family stuff from there and trying to get it as high resolution as I can and then lately I've been importing it into my computer and then basically cutting it up as separate videos so I could actually post it um, to Google Photos um, so that I actually have that and I've actually had a little bit of issue uh, trying to get it so the date and the time are correct so make sure that you um, go to the program go to the file change the date to the date that you want it to be or the date you know you recorded it if it's an older video of course if it's something that you recorded with your cell phone or something that won't be an issue and one issue that I had going on was that after I edited something with this program I actually got some popping noises okay some little little crackly popping stuff so I actually had to figure that one out and it was actually turned on and I haven't had any issues with it before as you'll see that in previous classes some of our projects haven't ever had that problem before the uh, it used it makes it faster to encode it to the video file for uploading and stuff but it actually add a little pop noise to my final video so when I actually show you the uh, after we finish something and we're going to save it 
Um, you may, if you have the issues with your computer, you may want to turn off what's known as the hardware acceleration. Okay, so these are kind of projects I've been working on, share with you, and of course doing something that's similar to some of the classes we're doing. Um, but yeah, there we go right there. So let's go ahead and let's talk about uh, doing one of our projects here. I'm going to be doing our golf thing. As you see, we've done it in another class, but we're going to start from scratch here. Let's do new video project. And we have to give our golf thing a, a suggestion or a name. So we're going to call it golf. And today is the 826. We'll do 826. And it first comes up now. If you had already added, excuse me, eyelash in the eye. If you have already added the the um, the videos or slideshows or whatever you're going to do into an album when you load the album there you can just actually click create but I haven't done that and if I go up here and I click add it'll come up and say from my collection that means it's going to pop up and show me the uh, main collection uh, that's going on hang on one second let me I gotta do something real quick messing with it just a little bit there I'm trying to get it so that wasn't so grainy there I guess it's the afternoon it's gotten dark outside which is kind of interesting okay so let's see. oh is that what's going on here Hey, okay. Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll leave that be. We'll let that do its little thing then. Okay, so I'll disappear in a second anyway. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding our slideshow. Yeah, I'll go ahead and disappear. That's really the best idea. So we're actually going to be doing our first our golf slideshow. So let's go ahead and let's add our pictures here. Now I'm going to do from this PC and it's actually saved. Oh, that's right. We actually added something that's fun there, too. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I have done this class before. If I go to my collection and then I actually get it to add from the, the video projector, that's what we want to do. Okay, so if I go to my photos and I click albums, then I actually have an album I created that has our golf pictures in it. Okay, this will make it very easy to add that. So basically that's when I hit, I hit edit. When I hit edit, it's automatically going to add all of this. So with our first project, we're actually having it so it is already set up. Okay and it actually creates let's see our automatic theming and then we'll mess around here with it in a second so let's first off let's look at our different themes What 
is actually our themes. First, we can start out with no themes. But the idea of this is there's certain templates in here that actually are already set up. That are already set up and when we deal with Okay, don't don't auto repeat there. When we deal with our themes here and we choose and things you realize some of these things actually do go together. did go through here and actually choose a theme it actually go through our pictures and it creates changes our theme a little bit going on and you can kind of see the reflection of that especially with our proofing on here as well so I'm actually going to uh, remove everything from our storyboard here Hang on. Because I want to start off empty. Oh, do I have to do it that way? Oh, man. Okay. So, there we go. So, have a blank storyboard and I have my pictures here. So, let's go ahead. Now, one of the things is a lot of times you may actually be more prone to try to post the pictures in the order you took them. Uh, for for setting up what you need to do is even if you took a picture last like let's say it's one of these that and I can actually make it bigger too by clicking here I can actually see it here choose a picture if you are going somewhere a good idea is to choose one that kind of sets the stage lets you know where it is now I'm going to be kind of talking about the idea of having it open uh, is where you're setting up think about kind of if it's a TV if you want to make a little bit of a short film maybe with family since we're all kind of staying safe and home and stuff this could actually be a great one day project and you'll have something that's really fun especially for little bits in the backyard you know ooh, pretend you're a monster or being chased by a monster or something and you know, oh, come to find out it was the family dog or something that could be very fun and silly and you can add your special effects and you'll get to see how you can actually make this into just a kind of a fun um, you know storytelling you know project so you want to set the stage just like you would a TV or movie we start off you want to have something that starts begins and finishes okay so let's kind of look through here through our pictures so we have our students learning we have a, a way shot of our student we have focus on one student or that's our assistant teacher I should say and then a group picture of all the students and the the teachers together okay so that's kind of our goal okay so we have some photos that we can turn into some action shots some animation we're not dealing with any videos right now and let's kind of set the stage so first we have our welcome sign I think we want to make this kind of our ending so we kind of are welcome to the venue this is kind of a neat uh, one this is kind of a panorama and so far and it'll automatically kind of add some uh, some animation and I'm actually going to turn off the background music click background up here and I'm actually going to choose 
none right now because every time I hit play, then it's going to play the music. So we don't want that right now. So if I hit the button, you'll see that it has a little bit of animation. It automatically does that. That's not exactly what I want it to do. So we're going to play around with that in just a little bit. So we could have it so kind of have our, well, what did I do? Oh, I just made a mistake. So I'm going to go up here and hit the undo button. See? So I did not mean that. I want that to be in between. And remember, you can drag these around to be in any order that you want them to be. Okay. So right now, we'll actually see a three on there. That means three seconds. If it's something that you want to be kind of action-packed, three seconds, even two seconds. I wouldn't really go one second unless you're doing an um, action thing, which we're going to show our character doing an action scene in a second. Um, but if you did want it to be a little bit more relaxing, just kind of a nice slideshow, I'd actually change it to about five seconds or so. So let's go ahead, and as we move through here, let's start talking about uh, things like our title card. So let's go ahead and let's add a title card. Okay. And we click our title card and we go up and we click, well, I just, oh, we need to do our text and then we can choose a different background if we want to as well. So if I do background, it allows me to choose a different background color. Well, it's green, so maybe we want it to be kind of green. Okay. It's golf. So background color would be green. Let's do text. And then we can choose our text. And we're going to call it Golf Camp 2019. Okay. Already our green's doing well because it looks kind of like golf, doesn't it? All right. Now I will tell you this. I don't know if it's just um, the issues I've had, but I've actually have to drag this thing back and forth to make sure the little preview will start. So I hit play and we'll get a preview. So there's our animation there. Remember right now it's only three seconds. So let's go through and kind of see different ones. And like I said it kind of gets stuck there in the middle. But remember you want to see it from the beginning because that kind of gives it an animation. Now, uh, we're going to go through some of these, but also realize that you can choose different layouts to this. Make sure you start it from the beginning so you'll see the animation from the side. So hopefully you're getting some kind of, you know, ideas on this. low and then from the right side as well. I actually did a, a class where uh, this is our main board so we definitely kind of want it in the middle. I actually did a class, our YouTube class, and we may do that again next week, next month. And I had a, um, a bunch of students and they were interested in in doing it and one of them said that they were basically using a, um, a uh, kind of it wasn't a basic HTML, uh, basic video editing program. And I pulled this up. I said, we know there's alternatives. There's free ones. And of course, Windows comes one with it's free. And they were like, really? And I said, yes. And I just showed them some basic things that it did and even added the special effects and the titles and stuff. And the guy, he said, well, I'm going to use that from now on. That's a lot easier than what I've been trying to figure out to use. I said, well, that's great. He said, that's going to do everything I want it to. And I said, okay. So, as long as you're kind of playing around with our settings here. When we use this in our camera class, excuse me, our photography class, I kind of briefly jump over all this. That's why we have this extra class here. So we can kind of talk about all our little different settings. The classic and the simple are kind of close, but at least that gives it an animation. Here's the adventure one that we saw in one of the templates. 
Golf camp. I like that, but not, not in love with it. Do you realize any of these templates? Uh, there's a lot of things that we can't change on them because they're just they're just pre-made. Okay. Here's quiet. Here's boom. Interesting the. Okay, I kind of like that. I like that it changes color. Comes in, changes color, and then kind of fades out. Gives it a little bit of an extra animation. We might use that one this time to be a little different. So that one's focused on fading out, actually. That could be like a good credits. Eh, kind of fade out. Ah, so this looks similar to the the template we saw, where it has like a box. I guess that would help make the text look a little bit brighter. Ah. I like the font style on that, but it doesn't look as um, interesting with our. Ooh, that looks kind of silly. I don't want to do. It's like a computer program. Ooh. that one a lot why does it go from green to that color which is kind of strange here's chilled fine print okay I think I'm actually gonna go with the boom one I like that a lot and it gave it a little bit of a animation and everything so I'm actually going to go with that and hit done. All right, let's look at our our video so far. All right, so what you think so far? It looks kind of professional already, doesn't it? All right, now. Uh, we're not going to add our other pictures yet. Let's go ahead and let's talk about some of our choices here. So here's kind of our location. So we can change the duration if we want to. Of course, you can add a title card anywhere that you want. Uh, let's see. Here's our text. Uh, you can do text on the screen if you want to. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Maybe we'll do text here. Now with this, you know, with this feature, uh, to be able to have a picture that I have in there, you could get really creative and still make it really simple. So if you were using like a, a photo editing software, kind of like the GIMP that we talk about in the photography class, I imagine you could come up with your own um, ideas what you want it to be like and then just change the background and you have your own settings and everything and with that and then just import the picture and then do whatever you want to with it with our our text here animation it could really change the the outlook of whatever you're creating and allow you to get really creative so I think this one needs to be kind of more on the bottom and I'm going to probably stay with kind of the same uh, theme. So here we got our golf course. I'm going to hit done. Now when we look at it, I'm at this is boom, so I'm going to kind of continue using boom. So our whole video has a nice theme layout. So golf camp 2019, golf course. And I actually want to change this. Let's talk about using, we've added text to it. Let's talk about using motion. So I click the graphic here, or the picture, and I say motion. 
and the default is kind of zooming it, it kind of chooses what it wants to be to be honest I'm not sure what the default I've had it use different things so I kind of want it to look like we're moving in this direction so let's make it go from left to right so let me see will that do what I want it to nope I want it to zoom Zoom in right. There we go. Now it kind of looks like we're headed towards the, the golf course, doesn't it? We're not leaving anymore. We're going to play around with this more in just a second. So if we watch our video so far. Looks like we're headed to the golf course. Now, do you remember you can spend as much time on this as you want or as little time as you want. You could just grab all of these graphics put them in the order you want and then basically don't even put any text in there hit finish video and you're done okay so you can spend as much time on this or as little time on this as you wanted to I do want to um, point that out okay all right so our next one we kind of want it to be going left to right which that works well and then kind of fade into our next one so our next one here is actually a much longer picture, isn't it? So I'm actually going to have it, let's see, pan from left, oh, pan right is what I want to do, pan right, and I'm actually going to extend our time. Now how do we do that? We click our, our video, we click our picture here, we click duration, and it'll say three seconds. Let's push that to five. So we get a little bit more time. So we click our video to begin with. We're zooming in golf course. And we get some motion there. And we get to see our golfer there on the far right right here now if you want it to go slower and you just make it uh, just a second slower or so let's see what would that whoop that's not what I want let's see if we'll do that for a second and see what happens we'll make it six seconds Still, the five seconds seemed perfect, but then that seemed a little long. Okay, so now we're only at 14 seconds here with our little video. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start adding some of our other parts of it. Let's start start off with our students. Where is our students? Here's our students. This looks kind of like a wide shot. So let's go ahead. We're going to drag some down here. Everybody's kind of out there practicing. Hitting the ball, practicing. And then we actually have, now remember, I'm not really focusing on uh, what order I took these pictures because you can see this is the order that I kind of took the pictures in but this is one where I went out a little farther trying to get everybody's face as they were playing and I'm going to kind of do that as kind of one of my last pictures and we have our instructor hitting the ball or assistant instructor I should say and we're going to make that into an action shot okay or maybe, maybe, hmm. maybe we'll make that an early action shot. We'll finish that one up, kind of seeing everybody there, and then we'll have the picture of everybody together. Okay, so this is kind of our final. Where is it? There it is. This is kind of our final picture of everybody. So that's kind of our our ending. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's look at what we have now. 
And at any time, if you want to see it larger, you can click here where it says full screen. Right now we don't have any music, so just do 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 So we kind of get a good look at the empty field. And then there's everybody practicing. Do 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 giving getting instructions. And then there's our gonna be our action shot. And it looks like it's backwards right now. It sure is. It's backwards. So we've got to switch that around. I actually think I have a little bit of a weather coming up. And there we go. There's our big finish. So a little bit of weather coming up. So if you hear thunder or whatever, we're okay. I will tell you this. If, if electricity does cut, cut off for some, set, um, for some reason and I lose internet, um, I'll wait a little bit and then try to come back on and finish the class. If not, we'll do our class another day. How about that? Okay, so let's go into our slides here. So this is actually out of order. So I want this. And then that's her swinging at the beginning. So it goes boom, boom, boom. She hit the ball. Yeah, there you go. And then we kind of see everybody playing. Well, I don't know. Her kind of being by herself. Eh. Oh, she's hitting there too. So it looks kind of like we're here. She hits the ball. We get another view. And then here as well. So don't always think about what, what order you took the pictures in. Trust me, movies and TVs, they, they do not think about the order they film. They film things out of order. Three seconds is pretty good for what we have going on. Now, there is a, where is my other thing here? So if you are getting some of the pictures, as you can see, are kind of like this. Now, I could use a feature where I zoom in a little bit. I'm actually gonna try that with this shot. If I go to this section here, We'll talk about our 3D and filters in a second. So if I click this with the wide angle, I'm actually getting black bars on the top and bottom. If I click here, it actually is going to do try to get rid of the black bars on there, but it could affect the way it looks. So let's go ahead and look at what we have now. Looks like it, uh, it messed with our motion, didn't it? Ah, when it zoomed in so much. Hold on, let me see here. Shrink to fit. Move black bars, but then we kind of get the end cut off there. And we'll just do shrink to fit, which is kind of what all our, our pictures are set for. Okay, now I actually have where I want to insert a logo. So I'm actually going to go to my computer here and I'm trying to remember exactly where it is, to be honest. Uh, da -da -da, give me a second here. I think I saved it. Let's see if I can find it real quick. And the previous class we did, I actually had it. Is it under pictures? Ah, it was under pictures. Oh, that's the video we made last time. Sorry. Okay, so 
Sorry, I was talking to myself. I actually want to have like a little bit of a logo here. So I'm actually going to click add and say from the web. Now this is an extra thing that makes your projects very easy to use. This is something that's more come to the line of something they've added to uh, PowerPoint. Okay, and Word is searching Bing for graphics. So I'm just going to say golf and see what we get. Now the big thing is checked right here is Creative Commons only. As long as it's not a project that you're trying to sell or for profit in any way, most of these graphics you can use. Oh, the golf uh, car, that's funny. So how about we use, we'll put a kind of a fun graphic on there and we'll say insert. And it should now, there it is. So we'll put that in kind of our logo there. There's golf ball, golf course, and now we're kind of getting into it, aren't we? You see our setting. And I actually want that the tall one to be zooming in. So zoom in. Let's see what that's like. Yeah, there we go. So it looks more like we're looking in. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't really know why we want to look up. Uh, we can do a pan. There we go. Now, we're actually going to add a little bit of action here. So we've got some kind of calm pictures. Like I said, if you want this to be more calm, probably recommend make it five to six seconds. And let's kind of make this an action shot. So let's talk about kind of adding a filter to it, okay? So we're going to take these three pictures of our golf assistant hitting the ball. Let's do our filters and see what that would be like. So we have our original, we have our classic, we have adventure, it's kind of what's on it right now. Let's see. We have some weird ones on here. Black and white is kind of interesting. Wow, that's really bright. And the wind is picking up outside, so you may hear that. Maybe we'll do our energy. That would be good, I think. So let's do that on our other ones too. Oh, I have to do those individually. All right, so filter, energy, filter, energy. Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut down their duration to like one second. And then maybe I'll leave this one at two. So it just looks like we're here and then boom, boom, boom. And it looks like maybe we have some action going on, okay? All right, so let's look. There you go. And then we kind of finish up. So this, the last picture, I actually want to have a good six seconds with that picture because we're going to do some stuff. This is our finishing picture here. So we want to actually add something kind of fun 
kind of a golf ball and it is really raining outside but like I said if I get cut off I'll try to come back and if not we'll have to finish up class I guess uh, for the day okay so we've got our action shot here which way does this shot go let's see so we've got this one I can probably work on that a little bit better it feels kind of jarring doesn't it okay that's what I want to do I want it to do the zoom in as well see what that's like okay so if I did do I could add another title here something that says four and then have them hit and then there you go all right so let's talk about adding I think I want to do that energy filter here on the there you go because it looks a lot more colorful so let's talk about adding a 3d uh, graphic what we're going to do is going to actually add like a golf ball here to jump around and let's add a um, what do I want to do so I add my golf ball Let's add some text here because this is kind of our end shot. Let's do text. How about we do go team? And we want it to be on the bottom. Our other one was called boom. And if we start there, so go team. All right, that looks good to me. Now let's add some, talk about our 3D stuff. So we've got this picture here. Now we're going to talk about adding some 3D stuff. And then when we do our, our bird pictures, the bird videos, we'll actually play around with those. And we'll actually add some more 3D stuff to those. But right now I just want to talk about the 3D uh, library. So let's go ahead and let's click 3D library. And it's going to show me now I will tell you this I've had this where it can take a while to load because it's actually loading it like a web page these are things that are not saved to our computer so it may take a minute to kind of go back and forth kind of play around now these it's kind of interesting because these are basically 3d models this is part of the 3d um, I guess you'd say library that comes with Windows 10 now with the painting they're trying to do some 3d graphic stuff so this is the kind of stuff that's coming with this uh, do these things have animation I've actually found out they don't have animation but we're going to animate them by make moving them around making them jump but I think there may be some other programs and I'll look into that that you can actually use these to actually animate uh, the graphic and then we'll put a little bird on our video later okay so lots of animals and stuff words pow sunshine action adventure costumes you could be silly put a 3d hat on someone's head or something okay outdoor nature it's trying to give you kind of a feel of kind of what ideas you can come up with now remember try to think about stories more than just you know just taking some family videos and stuff it could be a good fun day to come up with the storyline you know record some movies and then add some little 3d characters and stuff celebration birthday cake all kinds of stuff so 
We actually want to go to the one that says sports. Here's sci-fi fantasy. Kind of give you some ideas there. Sports recreation. Here's a golf club. Paddle ball. Soccer ball. And we just want the white golf ball is what we want. So I click that. And here it is. Now let's talk about what I can do with it. Okay. Right now, this bar actually shows it appearing near the end. Okay. So I actually want it to, when do I want it to show up? I want it to show up right about here, actually. So I'm actually going to stretch that so the golf ball shows up earlier. So let's hit play. And there's the golf ball. About the same time as the sign is kind of what I want it to do. I'm going to stretch it a little bit long, farther there. And that actually is zooming out. I actually wanted to zoom in. I'm going to change that in a second. Okay. So I can actually move the golf ball around. So where we're supposed to have our title, it doesn't show the elements at the same time. So we have our golf ball here. Now if this was a 3D thing, I can actually turn it, you know, because it is a 3D object, as you can see. Turn it this way, but it's a golf ball, so we can't really tell. Now, like I said, I haven't found out where these actually have animations built in that comes with them, but they actually have some what they known as quick animations. Whoop. So let's kind of play around with them. Turnable. So it just kind of turns, it appears, and it turns. Which already, that's pretty impressive, I think. You don't have to have some super 3D experience. It's kind of a swing, moves it back and forth. Now, I kind of imagine the other graphics doing the same thing. This is probably the one that we're going we're gonna to do. Because it has like a jump, and then it turns. Okay. There's a hover. Oh, and you're probably hearing the sound effects as well. They come with sound effects. If you don't want the sound effects, you can turn that down. Wobble. And hop. A lot of movement going on. I just want the one that says jump and turn. Okay. And I actually want it to disappear about the same time as the sign. So and then we'll have it where it fades out. Okay, so I want, I think the ball didn't show up soon enough, did it? Okay, so we'll move the ball a little bit more that way now, let's see. I don't know, maybe let the ball stay in, that'd be, that's kind of good, I think. Okay, so it's kind of our final choices, go team. hit done. Now I will tell you this, I've actually had it where I add something 3D and then when I play it, it doesn't do it and then I have to go do it again. So be, re be prepared for that. I don't know if that's a programming glitch or what. Yep, see it just did it. So for some reason when I hit done, it did not add it. So I got to do it again real quick. Yep. It didn't do it for some reason. Now let's 
Let's see if it did it. Nope. I've speculated before that it has some kind of layering issue but I don't know so it's like I have to do it again so uh, forgive me for a second I actually have had this happen a few times why I don't know There we go. All right, so let's look at, I actually want that to zoom in our motion. There we go. And I think I can get rid of, there we go. Okay, let's see what that's like. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and let's look at the whole thing and then we'll add some music to it. And I think this project is done. I could probably make the golf ball disappear a little bit sooner, but uh, we're going to continue. I think we're pretty good with that project right now. Okay, so let's talk about adding some background music to it. So let's click background. Now I will add, add this to you. You can actually click here where it says custom audio. And you can actually add your files. The biggest question is, can I make, add MP3 files? Yes, you can add MP3 files. These are all the audio files it supports. So most uh, file formats, MP3, WAV file, uh, MP4, it does actually support. Okay, so you can actually add your own music if you wanted to. So I'm going to go back and let's do background music. So we have some pre-made stuff. So let's just kind of take a quick listen to a few of these.
about this. If you do have this set, it actually will change your seconds. So if you don't want that, make sure you uncheck this, or it may change your seconds to sync with the beat. If you don't really care about that, it will make the song and the, the slideshow feel very uniform because it's switching back and forth. So that could be very helpful to make it look very professional. But I'm just going to hit done. And here we go. Let's look at our final project and then we'll go to our next one. Perfect. Okay, so let's talk about saving our video. Now, if you do use the Microsoft OneDrive, you can upload your video that way. It'll make it very easy to share, simple, sim similar to Google Photos. But let's hit Video Finish. Uh, this gives you some other options too, uh, the settings and everything, themes. Now, let's click Finish Video. Now, our options are this. Uh, here's the high quality, which is what you probably should do, especially if you're doing pictures, high resolution. Most of our devices, TVs now, of course, are 1080p, of course. Now, here's where I had issues with my other video. Um, I would only say turn this off if you have an issue. So after you play the video, if you see here some kind of popping noise or some kind of Little, now, mostly I had this issue when I was editing video videos, uh, if that makes sense. Um, second, we'll deal with our bird, bird pit videos and pictures and stuff. Um, but all you have to do is uncheck this. It will make it faster, but even on here it says try turning this off if you see uh, pink or colored glitches when you export a video, okay? So I was working on a project and it actually took me a while to figure that one out, but it was sound pops. So there we go right there. So you may want to uncheck that. It will take a little bit longer. Hit export. It'll say, what do you want to call it? Give it a name and it'll save as an MP4 file. Now MP4 files are very universal, especially exporting to YouTube or any other thing that you want to. Of course, um, uploading it to Google Photos if you wanted to, and then sharing it, let's say, with the whole family or something. And then you can actually get it to where you share it uh, virtually instead of just emailing it. And um, then you can share it with more people. And of course, you can, um, you know, if you use Google Photos, which I talk a lot about, then you can share and only people with that link can actually see the video, okay? Okay, so we did good on this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click back and you'll see that it actually, if we go to our video projects, here's the one that we made today. Well, hang on, that's not it. I uh, see. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Here's the one that we made today. And it's all been saved and everything and everything we did. Okay. It also has another option here called backup project. If you want to choose a different location to back up, that's perfectly fine. It'll back it up to the pictures folder. Um, and we have some other settings here too. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to start a new project. We're going to call it bird. Okay. Okay, I want to name it. Why isn't it letting me? Okay. 
There you go. Birding videos. And, uh-oh. Guess I hit the wrong button. All right, now I'm actually going to import these from by hand. And I have these saved. And let's see, I want to import that one. So now I'm actually mixing my videos with some photos too. And there we go, and hit open. It imports them. Now, now I'm actually dealing with videos as well, okay? It's not really gonna be any different the big thing of this will be we're going to talk about editing our videos. So let's go ahead and this is kind of our fun one here. So I'll import that one. Oh, it's going to import. <laughs> Sorry, they were already checked. So it already dragged them all down here at the same time. Okay, so of course I want to maybe rearrange them a little bit. All right. Hang on, I, I want to start over because I just wanted this one video down here so we, our storyboard wasn't, can, wasn't uh, too busy. All right, so this is the video right now. Miss Chickadee's got a worm. He sure does. He's eating a worm. As we talking on it, if I don't want to do talking, I can go here and click the, the um, button and click mute. So now it's just a video. So what it is, I have a cardinal in my yard, and he's eating a worm. And then he kind of goes away. So right now my video is too long, isn't it? So what's the easiest way? Now, since we're dealing with videos, we actually have trim and split have showed up, okay? We also have speed as well, so we could choose to, to change the speed, which we're going to do that to one of our, um, our, our birds here in flight. So let's go ahead and get um, to it. The biggest and the one of the most um, important parts of the video editor is basically getting used to splitting the videos. Even though this seems very simple, I can split the video and basically except for doing like special effects or something like that, which we're gonna do a little bit of special effects. There's not really much I couldn't do um, with just having a, a nice trimming and the split feature in a video editor, okay? You'll know what I mean in just a minute. So basically I go here and I want to, I could choose trim to trim the video, but a lot of the time I will actually choose uh, split. So I'm going to do trim to begin with, and then we'll do the split and the other. So here's our trim video. And I do know that, let's see, we can actually add motion to the video if we want to make it zoom in. Well, it's not doing it. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if it'll do it. I 
Maybe it's only with the pictures. I thought I had done that before. Anyway, so I can actually grab this. I don't want the end part here. Basically just want to be able to see the worm. He's, then he's eating the worm. And then, whoop. There he is. So just, just 10 seconds in. I think I'm going to start. I think right about there would be good. So just 10 seconds and we'll be done. And now you'll see it's only 10 seconds. Now one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to do rem remove black bars. Now this zooms in. I do not have control on what it zooms in on. All I can tell you is that it's doing the width of the video, but it is closer. So that still kind of gets me to my goal. Still kind of a, a simple video editor, but still, there he is. We got a video of him eating his worm. All right, so let's add a nice video here, a title card to our video. Let's add some text to our video. I actually want to change the background color. Now again, uh, I think, no, I think what I'm going to do is something different. I'm going to use one of my pictures. I think I'll use this one. And I'm going to give that a title or text on it. So this is actually going to be my title. And again, importing pictures. Having a picture there really allows you to, oh, it's fancy backyard birds. I kind of like that boom one, okay. So we'll do that one. And now, because I can basically take any picture, add text to it instead of it just being a basic background I can make it anything I want there's my video it's eating your worm there we go and let's go ahead and let's add our next video and then let's see I'm eating a worm and that one's not loading for some reason. Does it have a problem? No, okay. All right, we'll just delete that for now. So let's look at some of our pictures here. which way is our pit if we do do the blue black bars okay that works out for that picture blue black bars works kind of out for that picture too it's just a lovely picture right there okay so does that have any motion to it let's see nope no motion because that's our title one we don't really want any motion on that so this one let's do a little bit of motion and right here we go of course we could add some titles of what these are okay, and right again because it's kind of looking to the right this one's absolutely beautiful picture and we'll zoom to center let's see what we got so far It's actually a female cardinal. Cardinal eating the worm. All right, very good. Okay, now let's look at our hummingbird. So I have our hummingbird video. 
Now it's a very fast video, so I'm actually going to slow it down. So I'm going to choose that, and I'm actually going to tell them the speed, set normal, and I'm going to tell it to do it half speed. Funny thing is the hummingbirds are so fast, it may look like it's just a normal bird movement. Get a good view of him. And maybe I'll zoom in. Let's see what that looks like. That might be too much. Okay, I think that'll work for our purposes. Like I said, it doesn't allow me to control the zoom in. If we had a different program, probably, but remember we are trying to focus on our free one. It does have some limitations, but we can do so much with it. Okay, now, uh, let's see, that's the one I used. Okay. Mother Backyard Birds. And we'll try if we can do that. Yeah, that works well. Oh, so we'll have that, so that's kind of, okay, so we'll have it come in, boom, 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 there you go. Okay, now, we actually want to add our, excuse me, we want to add our big finale with our backyard birds. No, remember the undo button. Come on, there you go. Grand finale is we actually record a snake in the yard. I need to tell that that was it was. Um, I'm going to go and turn the sound off on that. And this was an actual thrasher in the yard fighting a snake, basically to get out of my yard. Get out of my yard. Never seen a snake in my yard the first time and haven't seen a snake since. But that thrasher was not having it. Trying to be ballooning up as high as he can. Now, we have a lot of shaky cam going on. So our goal, and it's 45 seconds long. So in just a second, we're actually going to start trimming or splitting our video. Because we want to split it up. We want to do some jump cuts. So that's too much video going on, isn't it? So I'm going to click here and I'm going to do split. So if we go back to our video, and this is very important, any video editor, one of the big things you're going to learn, need to learn to use is to split your video. So part of my goal, so we come along. So let's go ahead and let's start the video where I've actually started zooming in. Okay. So let me go back here. Right there. So I'm going to go ahead and split the video. Oh, can I do more than one? No, doesn't don't see that. Anyway, so let's say done. Split the video. I'm actually going to delete. Click there, hit the trash can. I'm going to say split again. So now we have it so where it's a little bit more stable. But we kind of go crazy with our camera, don't we? Let's edit out, edit out the shaky cam. So right before, and you can actually use the um, the arrows on your keyboard a little bit to get this a little bit more precisely. Okay, so I want that. And then I'm going to go back here and hit split again. And now the shaky cam happens. Get to the, the very, very tail end of the shaky cam. And 
of the split. So I'm actually going to go and delete the shaky cam. All right, now let's go to the end here. And our goal is right when the snake starts to kind of go away. Well, I didn't get all the shaky cam, did I? Maybe that won't be okay because it's not as bad as the, the other one. I'm going to split it right there and the rest of the video so that's kind of the end so let's watch what we have so far shaky cam there then but that's mostly because it was action so let's go ahead and let's add a new title here and I'm going to add a card Oop. want to be here let's say birds at the beach Okay, not letting me type for some reason. I have had some glitches with this program. Okay, I will tell you that. So, let's kind of work with that. All right, let's try this again. Okay. There we go. Birds at the beach. All right. Of course, I could have taken a picture of the beach or something like that instead of it just being blue. All right, now. Let's add All right, so let's see what we have. trim this one a bit.
That's the, that's what I was telling you. Those are the females. All right, I'm actually going to slow this video down a little bit to about half. When I actually filmed this originally, it was with the slow, the um, uh, slow motion on the iPhone, and apparently only Mac support that. But so the slow motion on this video should be really good. Because I actually recorded it like that with the slow motion. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's talk about adding some of our 3D effects. Now this time we're actually going to try to do some special effects here at the end, just to kind of be silly. So we've kind of finished up and done the whole gambit of everything with our projects. So we've made a slideshow, we've made a, the video clip at the beginning here, and now we're doing our editing thing at the end here. So let's talk about what stuff that we can add. It'll show things like explosions, it has uh, snowflakes, a comet. If you scroll down here, you can do things like autumn leaves. Okay. So, now this allows you to be very creative. Like, uh, like it's a newscast. Breaking news. I think they're just kind of playing around trying to figure out exactly what folks would be interested in. Here's balloons. Now remember you control how long they play by, by controlling the this here when they start as well. I've added something new that I didn't know about. Let's see. Drag the anchor to a point and your effect will follow it. You can move your effect and anchor it. Okay, so place to anchor, best place to anchor is a place on a point that stands out and is not moving too fast. Okay, so if I move So I guess when I actually move the camera, we're going to see how far this goes because it could be okay. Let's try it. Yeah, it kind of worked. Let's see what else we can do here. If I could be creative like that, I might attach something to the sky or something. Here's bubbles, a campfire, candle, a comet, confetti blast, 
a dust explosion, dust on the camera, fireworks. So why don't we try some fireworks? And let's see. So we'll do it a little different here. I'll make it look like the fireworks are coming out of the booth over there. Okay, so so our anchor, we want it to be the booth. All right, see what that looks like. <laughs> And it stop. Huh. Okay. Oh, was it trying to, oh, now I get it. Okay, so. If the birds fly in front of it, it must mess up its. <laughs> Not very long fireworks. Okay, but just lots of fun, silly things over here that you can do. Here's like Halloween themed stuff, laser beams. Let me see, live sports, magic light. There's like, you know, news, special effects, sci-fi stuff. Let's see, rose petals, snow, so let's make it snow. You kind of control when you want the snow to begin. So let's look at our snow. Oh, it's snowing. Okay, I might keep that. Let's see what else we can do. Here's bats. Let's see. Spinning globe, doing string lights. A waterfall. Let's see. That would be kind of interesting. Waterfall on his neck. So if I went to the waterfall. And I don't know, I'm trying to get creative. So there's water falling out of the sky, I guess. I want to use something else. Which is something like a, okay, let's do the comet thing. So what's our comet like? I attach the comet to a bird flying by, maybe. All right, so if I do the comet, I go back, and then we have our bird fly over. I attach it to that bird. Let's see how that looks. I can still hear it. flies over. Oh, have I got it going the wrong way? 
Aha, uh -huh. I bet that's what it is. Here we go. Okay. Maybe it was going off screen. Okay, so. I don't know. I'm kind of playing around with it a little bit. Why is it only seconds? So, if I turned it, where is it? Good. I'm glad you like that. Last time I messed with the fireworks, there's not many of them. There you go. Okay. So if I deal with the fireworks, I want them to be kind of back here. I'll shorten them a little bit. Now let's look and see what it says at the attach point a little more. Maybe next time a little bit more about that. Because it looks like it could be something that you could use in effect to, if you have something moving around, you anchor it here. And then when the video actually moves, it makes it look like it's stable, I guess you could say. So if I dragged it here. Go. That's what I wanted. So, kind of a cool effect. Get you add more. Do you want more fireworks? Maybe you see it's actually attached to this point. So, even though the camera is moving at this time, it's a fancy effect. Looks like that's not with all of them, but it looks like that's. You know, an interesting effect. So, could you do another one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if I have, if I put it here, let's see. So, fireworks go that way. And then they end, and these fireworks take over. And then I attach that to here. Alright, now let's look. So we should have double fireworks now. There you go. Even though I'm moving the camera. Kind of hang out there. Oh, it moved around. Yeah, didn't work perfectly. But there you go. Now let's go ahead and let's add our bird in there. And we're gonna finish up class and stuff. Birds. All kinds of different birds in here. Ooh, he's got a 3D effect on him, does he? See, ooh. They have updated something here, I believe. This is exciting. I like it when the program has been updated and they've added like a new feature. Or something that's always pretty fun. All right, so what is our bird doing? <laughs> All right, so 
select our bird. Okay. I was wrong. He's not moving. He's kind of like the other ones. But it's a neat idea if it works. So if I do use, let's see, this attachment point. Let's see if he'll hang out. Hold on. See if he'll hang out right there. The blue thing. Okay. We'll see if this works. Okay. Did not work. <laughs> He's not moving either. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and let's hit done. And let's look at our video as a full. I want to add some music to it first. I think the uh, come with. All right, so let's do that. All right, so let's kind of look at our finished project. So we're very serious at the beginning, and then we get very silly at the end. All right, here we go. bird shows up in the video why not okay so have we learned a lot this afternoon about our program the biggest thing about it is it's free it already is in Windows 10 if you don't have some of the features that I talked about today make sure that your Windows is updated okay so that you'll have stuff I know they keep adding stuff even the few th extra things I was playing around there at the end were new um, so definitely try try it uh, it already is with the uh, photos uh, collections app which makes it very easy to use so there you go right there of course like I said again go to finish your video export it if you're having any issues uncheck this and then export it and then see what it's like then okay so we have covered a lot this afternoon. Our video editor, uh, the point of this class basically was in our camera class. We uh, were doing this, but we weren't getting as much time uh, with it to be able to do any kind of video editing. 
So that's why this class kind of became came about because we wanted to focus more on doing some of the video editing too. So next month we will probably have the camera class scheduled again. So come join me for that. Um, we'll talk about some extra stuff as well and we may include this again so it's someone that's kind of like a series of you want to do the video uh, take better photography learn composition rule of thirds someone that wants to back up their pictures to google photos uh, take pictures of old photos and scan them and update that and then use GIMP which is like a Photoshop like editing software to edit your photos and then upload them to do things with them create scrapbooks and stuff like that and then this if you wanted to do videos so there are some free video editing software out there that's free and of course some really nice expensive ones out there like Adobe Premiere but as you can see with the free app I can do a lot of things that just comes with Windows and you can do a lot with the split tool um, and it functioning properly okay so a lot of editing that you can do that um, you know So any any questions? Oh. All right, just a little talk about what classes we have coming up. You may hear the thunder a little bit outside because it's uh, been raining a little bit. Luckily, our electricity didn't cut out or have any issues with our Wi-Fi or, or internet. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to be doing a part one in the morning, 11 a.m., and then, uh, uh, not part one, we're doing a two session. Uh, the first one is 11 a.m. tomorrow, and at 2.30, I'll be here doing Gadget Help with Alex Live. So hopefully it'll fit in your schedule to come by. If not, I'll be, if, not, if I don't have a lot of questions, I'll be talking about free resources that the library has to offer. So definitely still come by, even if you don't have any questions for me. And definitely feel free to share our videos and stuff as well like I said tomorrow we're gonna to have a new schedule come out for next month and just a little side note our libraries are open with limited services and hours uh, there's a new posting on our website and Facebook page about our new hours and new operations operating hours but do realize that uh, none of our libraries are doing in-house programs so all our stuff is virtual so definitely look for our web to our website gchrl.org uh, for, um, for what classes we have virtually online and also I'll pay, post them to our Facebook page as well if you have any questions call into the library Monday through Friday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and of course curbside holds pickup is available it's a wonderful service make sure you thank your librarians when they do that don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel um, to get updates and what classes we have coming up and what videos are coming up live and stuff like that. Right now you're on our YouTube channel. If you're searching for our YouTube channel, search YouTube GCHRL videos and it will pull our channel right up. So thank you for attending this afternoon. I hope you enjoyed the class. Hope you learned a lot, had a lot of fun just kind of playing around with the videos and stuff. And it's always pretty interesting. Uh, even the since this is the second time doing this class, I can see that we've uh, played around, learned a little bit of stuff from the previous class, even even just one more. Okay, so even if you have a, a come to a class that in the past, do you realize I'm constantly updating the class? And if you do come to the class when it's live like this. You can definitely feel free to ask any kind of questions or anything, and I'm happy to answer them. So I hope that your home staying safe and everything, and um, you know, try to get outside, uh, get some exercise. I know that it's raining right now, but maybe later uh, tonight or in the morning or something like that. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>